got it under control. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as much under control as you can have. Hey, so, showman. No, 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 no. No. That's a question, actually. That's the showman. So everyone on this side. Oh, you use that? Okay. Then, yeah, everyone over here. Is that the tradition in the dojo? Everyone lines up over here? Everyone line up over there. We'll be sensei. Jack, you got to come be sensei too. We're going to do this Koryu style today, and so we won't circle up, but... Um, is this, is the, this is the beginner side, right? If you want it to be, that's good for me. Normally, you put the beginners near the entry to be the first ones cut down when someone comes to challenge at the dojo. And then they have to fight. I'm uh, a student, as is Jack Beeler, of Kaminoda Sunomori Sensei, who's in Japan. He can't be here today. We're the best stand-ins we could come up with. Um, Kaminoda Sensei's Hachidan Hanchi uh, and Menkyo Kaiden, which means he's got a full transmission of the art. The art is Shindo Musoru Jodo. It's 400 years old. And actually, until about 1945, it was probably Jojitsu. But um, it's a very old art, started as a dueling art, has become a policing art. He was a police instructor for 40 years, as well as being a detective and some other things. Um, he was a chief instructor of the premier division of the Tokyo Riot Police. They're the ones that protect the imperial grounds in Tokyo. That's why it's the premier one. Uh, He's very good. We're not as good as he is. And I can't possibly hope to teach you the way he taught me. All I can do is try and transmit to you the things I understand. And my, understand is constantly, my understanding is constantly evolving because it's a really, really, really deep and complex art with five weapons plus a rope tying system. And I don't have it all. I have almost all the Joe, but I, there's pieces I don't have of the other weapons. And you're constantly trying to ask yourself, why, why this and not that? Why does this work and that doesn't work? If you don't want to think about what you're doing, don't take up Jodo. You really have to think about it. Um, Jack and I are going to lead you through four of the Kihon. These are basic exercises that our teacher's teacher created in the 1930s so he could teach Jodo to thousands of people at one time. He would stand on a stage in front of the Imperial Army and teach Jojit's movements through the Kihon. You get to participate in that tradition. And we're going to do four of them. We're doing them a little bit out of order just to help with the transmission of them. We're going to swap a couple around between today and tomorrow. We did the first four yesterday. We're doing four more today. And uh, if you've ne who's never done Joe before yesterday? Oh, excellent. Excellent. So I'm not going to worry about it. We've got a good number, a good mix. Um, go ahead and spread out and take up the whole dojo. Make sure you got a little space. I think we can do this in one line today. I think. You're good, you're good. Yeah, David, a little more. Yeah, good, good. LF, sir. Hey, a little more, a little more. Yeah, Peter. You gotta stand out a little. That'll, that'll buy us room. And Peter's also uh, someone we train with in Japan when we go. Um, he's in the same line. We're, so his Joe looks very similar. We're all in the Tokyo line. It's the police dojo line of Tokyo. There are lots of lines now, but that's our tradition. And we try to keep it true to it anyway. So Jack, if you'll join us there. And this is a kamai. Sune ni kamai. You're in a kamai right now. It's a ready position. Your body's ready. We're going to go to another kamai, which will be honte ni kamai. So, so. We're going to start with makiotoshi. Makiotoshi yoi. Draw the joe up. Stop. I'm guarding my body. The Joe Saki is outside this line of my body. This hand is up in front of my left shoulder, left hand in front of left shoulder. It's like a window here. I can see my opponent past my arm. Yeah, oh, everyone looks really good. And now the motion's stupid simple. Uh, Ledger Sensei was talking about how he gets to a point where something that seemed impossible is really simple. This is one of those. You're gonna pick your foot up 
And as your body comes forward, you're going to roll your arms out. You're going to go... You're going to roll your arms out and come to the eye. That's all you're going to do. Everyone looks pretty good. Hey, so this is Makio Toshi. Hey. Hajime. Hey. That's a key eye. One more. Draw it up. Throw it away. Nice, 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 nice. Yame. So at Yame, just stop. Motoi, put the weapon away. Now Moara Migi, tip the weapon and turn around. And now bring the weapon back online in Sinai no Kamai. Right? You look great. You look great. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Howard, how was that? Terrible. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> you, you go down to there. I'll come down to here. Peter, you take the center. We'll rotate through these. Hey, so once again, Makiotoshi. Hante ni kamai. Makiotoshi yoi. Hajime. Hai. 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 One more. Yame. So Yame, just stop. Motoi. Put the weapon away on the right side. Muare. Me. Turn around. So. Uh, Jack. Get a sword. So what are we doing when we do Maki Otoshi? Right? It's like, what's that about? You're spinning that Joe in space. There's nothing going on. I don't know what we're doing, but this is what's going to happen. So we match. He's going to slide up. Boom. I just absorb it. I don't do anything. And now, picking my weight up, right? And I'm going to drop my weight on him as I turn this weapon that way. So. Right. so match. He slides in. Too much, too much, too much. Hey, right. so zoot. Let's turn this way. So you can see from the other side. So. Right? So that's all we're doing. You're putting your weight on his blade. I don't really have to do anything. He can't hold the blade up because I'm all on it. The 175 pounds, most of which are not muscle, are going into his blade. So, but the other thing that's happening is this. Right? There's a rotation. It's happening. This palm is out, and now it's out that way. This palm is up, now it's down. Right? Everything's turning 180 degrees as he tries to hold my weight up with his sword. And he can't do it. So that's all you're doing. It's really easy. Um, Kaminoda sensei does this uh, right there. So he does it where you go, whoom. It's like a half moon almost. Osato Sensei, his top deshi, does it a little different. He's, he's here, and then he sets this up, and then he comes through. And I don't care which way you try it, if you ever try it. Both work really, really well, because it doesn't matter. Either way, you're still trying to hold a sword up against the other person's entire body weight. And even 100 pounds is more than you're going to be able to hold up when you're like this, extended with a piece of steel in front. It doesn't work. So Makiyatoshi is a really easy technique and a really important technique. And it takes you 20 years to figure out that it's an easy technique. Though you know from the beginning it's important. It just takes a while to kind of be able to do it. The next three kihon are very, very similar. They start with the same footwork. 
And so that's why we're doing them together and things are a little bit out of order. We're going to do Kritsuke, Kiryanashi, and Tayatari. So this is what we do for Kiritsuke. You'll be in Sune no Kamai. Kiritsuke, you don't have to do it now, just watch. Kiritsuke Yoi, you step out with the left foot, up and under with the right foot, and the Joe comes over the head. And then at Hajime, you go, and then up, and then, that's not the key eye. Right? But, there's a little lift, a little lift here under the swordsman. Don't make it a big lift. Little lift, and then it's almost like a case of cut if you know what a case of line is. Right? It's the line on a priest's robe. A case of, this is the line. Yes. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. See? This is why Peter's useful. <laughs> he does have some uses. Zut, zut. And you're pinning the wrists of the sword. Ah! That's all we're doing. Again and again. It's kind of fun, actually. So let's try it. You too, Jack. Hey, Kritzke, Yoi. Step out with the left foot. Forward with the right foot, left hand comes to the Joe. Hajime. Hey! 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 One more, if you can. You got the space. Yame. So now bring it up to the eyes, the Joe up to the eyes. Nice, nice, nice. So zut. Rotoi. Put it away. Moare. Migi. Yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot. Yeah, that's great. Hey, let's rotate around. Peter, all the way down there. Running will do you good. Keep you young. Boikai Kuritsuke. Starting in Sune no Kamai. Hai, Kuritsuke, Yoi. Left foot out, right foot up. Left hand takes the Joe. A little more wedge, Jack. Backhand needs to be higher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hajime. Hai! 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 Hey. One more. Hey. Yame. Joe comes up to the eyes. Turn the hand if it's backwards. Motoi, put the Joe away. Moare, Migi, turn around. Nicely done, nicely done. Oh, Jack, sword. <laughs> you can go to the middle now. All right. I'll go down to the far end. So what's going on with this one? This one shows up in a lot of kata. And, take care. So, he's gonna go to ha, so this is a standard practice, a paired partner practice. He comes to cut, bang, bang. You intersect his cut. Our feeder, our front feeder, on the same line, basically. My left foot is outside the line. He's light. He's not going to resist. It's just stupid to resist. I'll just clock him. So I'm going to step past him and pull it down. Bouncing off the floor. Bend your knees just a little. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. And this is what I want. This is what I want. I want the end of the Joe right on this place in his wrist, which really hurts. It actually breaks the thumb's grip a little bit. And then I'm taking the ska and pinning it against his body. He can't come back in then. So I'm breaking this hand grip and I'm pinning against the body here. And my weight is into him. So now he slides off. And when you do partnered practice, what happens? No, no, it's okay. You're fine. What happens on the Joe side is you'll step up and back to Sune no Kamai. So then he goes back to Hasso to load up and he'll come to cut and you do it all over again. And you notice. I'm not losing this area around his face. I like the effect on his balance, his kazushi, of threatening in here. 
And if someone's really a jerk, bang. You know, you don't really need to do any technique. You just take the eyes and push. Bam. But we're nice, we're doing practice together. So he's light. And I'm going to be pretty nice this time. Bang. That's nice. See? Just the way it should be. And I'm putting this fist in what the Chinese call a gua. There may be a Japanese word for it. Where's Peter when I need him? I'm, not, I'm sure there is. I haven't heard that one. Excellent. So it's where the groin meets the thigh. It's this crease in your body. And it's a nice power position. Right? Everything's on top of that. It's cradled in your body. Yeah, I know, Howard. We, we, try not to spend, we try not to spend a lot of time with our hand down there. But, you know, there are moments when this is the only place you can put it to stay alive. And, and then this wrist cranks over. So, yeah, it's pretty good, you know. So now he goes off. And we step up. So we're done. So that's what you're doing when you're doing Kuritsuke. And Kaminota Sensei is adamant that you don't do it the way it is in the book. The book shows bump, bump. And you can get like Hachi Don in Japan doing bump, bump. He's adamant that that's wrong. And he says there's only, his way is out, up. This hand goes up the back line. Just comes right up and the Joe's waiting for it. It's very elegant. And you've got the block even if you don't get this hand there in time. If they're faster than you think, you got a block. You may get whacked on the head, but you're not cut in two. The trade-off seems pretty good to me. <laughs> so that's his way of teaching it. The next technique, sorry, back to Joe. The next technique is, actually, you know, we better show first what's going on or no one will ever, ever, ever get it. It starts the same, the same footwork. That's why we teach these all together. It's called Kuri Hanashi. Bang. Oh, I caught it wrong. So now my foot, it's not, it's almost on the same line. I'm going to take this foot and I'm going to put it next to his foot. It's like, that's where we are. I'm stepping past him a little bit. I'm pushing past him. I'm stepping into him. Psychologically, I'm taking his space away from him. And I'm going to throw him away. And keep the Joe up high. It's like you're swinging for the fences. You know, it's got to stay up high because you want him to go away. He's got to go away. Hey. If I instead throw down, <laughs> yeah, it's just not going to be such a good day for me. If I throw him down, the sword is right there. And the sword comes back really quick. And he's mad at me. He was already trying to kill me. It's not getting any better. <laughs> so, so you want to throw them away. So one more time, we'll do it slow. Bump, bump. I'm catching wrong. Zoom. So now, go get a Joe. Let me show it without a partner. So, bump, bump, bump. Okay, that's the motion. That's the motion. There's not a lot of times when you have to use this, but it's good to be able to do it when you do have to do it. Yeah, okay. Kuri Hanashi. We start in Sunne no Kamai. Kuri Hanashi Yoi. Hajime. Step and throw. Wind up. Step and throw. Again. Hey. 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 One more. Hey. Yame. Nice. Motoi. Put it away. Moare. Migi. Excellent. Nice, nice. Go ahead and back up the rest of the line. Hey. Waikai. Kirihinashi. Yoi. Hajime. One more. Nice. Up to the eyes, yame. Sorry. Mo toy. Put it away. Moare migi. Nice. 
Excellent. We're about to get to the killing, Howard. I know that's <laughs> not me, you. though. <laughs> no, not you. Hey, so that's uh, Kuriyanashi. There's a third kata in this, or a kihon in this group that fits nicely. It's Tayatari. Tayatari starts the same way, that's why it fits so well. Goes to Hasso, he raises up to cut, step out, catch, and now um, instead of stepping past him, we're stepping and bringing him down, I'm going to step into him and I'm going to punch with a back hand, turning the hip, and I'm going to punch into him like that. Don't go away, don't run away. Boom. So, and you want mouth, diaphragm, right? Boom, boom. And then we just step by and he goes away. And the, the purpose of this is not to actually make a guy who's resisting do that, because I can't do that. I could do that to probably any of you. If you're really strong here, there's nothing I'm going to be able to do to punch you in where you're like, oh, you know. And I, that's a dead space behind me. He's pushing like that. Sooner or later, he's going to find a way to beat me. But he's a swordsman. He wants to cut me. And so his idea is, he needs to buy space to go to Jodan. And that's what that's for. He's going to go to Jodan and I'm going to fill his space. Well, okay, now it makes sense. Now I can do that to anyone. You go to Jodan, I can take that. And then I just throw him away. Right? So that's what Tayatari is about. That's what Tayatari about, is about. I'm not wrestling him up. I'm just filling the opening. So let's uh, practice a little Tayatari. Tayatari. Yoi! Hajime. Punch. Step. Load up. Punch. Step. Load up. Punch. Step. Load up. Punch. Step. Yame. So at Yame, you just let the Joe come down to eye level. Hey. And turn the hand around so it's, the fist is front. Motoi. Put it away. What it need. Turn around. You guys are doing great. We may do four or five kata today. Hey. Tayatari. Yoi. Hajime. Punch. Step, load up. Punch, step, load up. Punch, step, load up. Punch, step, yame. Bring the Joe down, eye level. Turn the hand around, front fist. Well, toy, put it away. Muare, me. Awesome. You just did four keyhole. You're in a tradition of at least two million other. Japanese soldiers from the 1930s. I don't know how many actually, but it was a big number. So we're going to do a kata today. It's going to be easier than yesterday's kata. If you made it through yesterday, today will seem like a breeze. <laughs> really, it will. <laughs> You're laughing at me like, oh, he's pulling my leg. But really, it will. So we're going to do, uh, uh, we're not going to do subu ari ari because that's not so easy. We're going to do skis away. We're going to do skis away. So we'll show it a couple of times. And you guys all know where your swords are, right? Because I'm going to put you to work. So this is skis away. It's the first kata in the uh, Seite set, the ZNKR Don Rank set. And it was put there by Shimizu Sensei because they viewed it as, it's Koryu, so that's good, but it's pretty easy Koryu, so it's a nice way to start. And then they do a couple of the police kata and the rest are all from the Koryu. Some of them are even pretty crazy. But this one's not too bad. So, hey, so, hey, step up, bang, hi. He comes in to cut, I sink back, lift up, it's above his head. Bring it over, whoops, sorry, down, 
and then he slides back and off and I come in and then he retires and I do the hard part I put my weapon away each neat son Osame putting the weapon away is probably the hardest part of this kata at least when you're starting <laughs> so it's easy you just step up you take your kamai right he comes in make it a nice big friendly cut so people can see it's a nice big pin of the wrist to turn around um, pinning the wrist and then he goes back to Jodan and I'm um, pinning the wrist I'm not breaking it I'm pinning it and then he slides off I take the eye Osame He goes off. We go off. Everyone's happy. Get to go home in one piece. No one was hurt. Maybe I'll arrest him. Maybe I'll let him go. He didn't seem like that bad a guy. and He wasn't a very good swordsman. So that's what, that's what we do in this kata. It's not too bad. Let's do it by the numbers a few times. And then we'll put some people on sword. And we'll try it. Okay? So from Sune no Kamai, right? Right hand. Joe on the right hand. Skizue, yoi. So how do you hold it? You hold it at the ring finger. That's the magic spot. Because that's the spot where I can turn it in the palm of my hand without having to do any finagling. I don't worry about it. There's pressure from the ground. It turns in the palm of the hand. And the ring finger is the right place in the hand. This is true for almost all the tenuch, all the hand movements we do. The switching, it's between ring fingers. It gives you nice control and they can't see what you're doing with the weapon. So when you're in this kamai, the joe is to this level inside the hand. Okay? So here we are. Hajime, swordsman comes in. Swordsman has a big cut. You're going to step back to five o'clock, if six is your back, you're at five o'clock, oh, right? Everyone's got both hands on the Joe. Pick the Joe up your center line, above the height of your uke, and bring it down their center line, pinning their wrist. Don't break the wrist, just pin it. They're gonna go back to Jodan, draw the Joe all the way back, and pin the wrist. And now they retire the weapon. Joe goes to the eyes. Osame, each. Draw it all the way back. Between ring fingers, if you can. If you have short arms, do the hands like this. If you have short arms, the hands are like this. But if you have long ones like mine, ring fingers. Knee. Damn, damn. Ah, yeah, 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 nice. Turn the lower hand over. Put the Joe away. They go back. One step, two steps, we go back. Excellent. Height, jack, middle. No, no, no. Take the middle. I'm just moving down. We're going to rotate some more. Skis away. Oi! Ring finger, right? Hajime. One. Two, three, four, to the eyes, Osame, each, knee, right, son, put it away, nice, nice, little balance, between, a little more balance between the ends, yeah, 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 so it hangs naturally, when I'm nine steps away, you want it naturally pointing at your opponent's face. Yeah, nice. Nice. Moikai! Hi, skis away. Yoi! 
One, back. Two, up, around, and pin. Three, draw it all the way back. Four, pin the wrist. They retire, take the Joe to the eyes. Then each, knee. Turn the lower hand, put the Joe away. They go back one step, two steps, we're going back. One more time, last time. Skis away, oi. One, two, three, four. To the eyes. Both side. Each. Knee. Turn the hand. Put the Joe away. Sun. They go back. One step, two. We go back. Next. Uh, you know who you are. Get on sword. <laughs> Dale sword. Uh, excellent. So we're going to partner up. We're going to do the kata a few times, and then I'm going to tell you what's going on and why it's going on and how you can die. All the things you need to know when you're going to learn an art. <laughs> you know, the parts, the parts that are really kind of critical. Um, who doesn't have a partner? Go ahead and partner up from that end. Dale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, who's your partner? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Find a partner. We're going to rotate around a little bit, so uh, don't worry about where you are right now. 